Hi everyone, welcome to this video on the sign up flow. In this video, we're gonna be going over the sign up flow, including the components within it, and exactly how to modify these components to meet whatever application use case that you require. Now, I wanna kick off this video by showing you exactly what comes straight off the bat with Canvas. So let's jump into the preview mode of our application and go through the sign up flow as it is. I'm sitting here on a new Canvas application on the index page without any changes having been made to it. To show you the sign up flow, I'm just gonna go up to the top right corner here and click sign up. This will take me to step one of the sign up flow where I need to provide my email and password information to create a new account. I can agree to the terms of service. I can then create an account. This will take me to step two of the sign up flow where I can now add details about myself and capture some personal information about the user. In this case, we're capturing the first name and the last name straight off the bat. Once I click continue, I've now created an account and I'm taken back to here, which is my index page. And I can see that my user account has been logged in. I wanna jump over now to my editor. So I wanna show you where these components live and just what they look like in the editor so that you understand how to modify this. So if I go to my page drop down here and I go to sign up login and I click on the reusable element, this brings up the login and sign up reusable element. If I go to group sign up on the left here in the elements tree and I click on the little plus, I can see sign up steps one through to four. These relate to the steps which I mentioned just going through that preview mode just before. So sign up step one here has the email and password and create account information. If I click on the little plus, I can see a number of hidden fields. So there is a group other buttons, which isn't visible on the page, but we can make visible if we want, where we give the option to sign up with the various social accounts or OAuth. We do need to set up the development work behind this. There is also the group user types, which is hidden as well, but we can make visible. And this allows a user the ability to sign up as a different user role. So for example, in a marketplace, they may wanna sign up as a buyer or as a seller on our platform. If I go to sign up step two, where we capture the first name and last name information, here we can actually capture more information about the user. And there is a hidden group here as well. So under group sign up content two, there's group additional fields. So there's additional inputs or drop downs where you can add further information. A really common use case is to change the multi-line input to a bio field and what this allows the user to do, and once you make it visible, is to provide a user profile or a bio information, which we may wanna capture. Sign up step three and sign up step four were actually hidden during our preview mode. And the reason why is these relate to the email and phone verification. So if I go here and I click edit element, I can see that it brings up the reusable widget verify phone and email. And what this essentially does is it will send a code to our email or phone, and then we can provide this code to verify this. The admin can access and set up these features from the admin portal. Going back to the sign up and to the login reusable element. What I wanna show you now is the workflows behind the components that we just saw and how they relate. So if I scroll down here, I can see that for each of the steps, there's a custom workflow associated to it. So there's custom workflow for sign up step one all the way to sign up step five. So for here on sign up step one, if I go to step one, this is where we actually sign the user up. So we assign the user role and we capture the email and password information. So if you wanna make any modifications here, this is where you would do it. For sign up step two, where we capture the user information, if I go to step one, we can see this is where we make changes and capture any additional fields and associate that information to the current user. So if I added a bio, I change another field and add a bio description and capture the information from that multi-line input here. 
sign up step three and sign up step four allow the email and phone verification to be set up and then once we go through this process we go to sign up step five which then redirects the user to the index page and that's an overview of exactly how the workflow component of the sign up and login reusable works now i hope that this video has given you a better understanding of how to modify the sign up and login flow to meet your application use case i'm really excited for our next video where we're going to be going into exactly how to create your first page using canvas i hope to see everyone there